Got uh, pulled over last week for drinking and driving. Started driving down the road, not three minutes later, there's some lights flashing in my rear view mirror. Good evening, sir. The reason why I stopped you is you're doing a lot of swerving in the roadway. Have you consumed any alcohol this evening? Oh, yeah, I had a couple drinks. Went shut off the vehicle. And he asked me to step out of the car, and then the reality really sunk in. Got pulled over last week for drinking and driving. Hands directly by your sides. Proceeds to do a couple of sobriety tests. I was scared and I was panicked. Try not to move your head. All right, sir. You're gonna pick up your foot approximately six inches up off the ground. The easiest thing you could possibly do. Go ahead and start. But I couldn't because I was drunk. Pulled over last week for drinking and driving. I need you to be further honest with me in how much you've consumed tonight. I've had four drinks. Go ahead and face towards my unit. You are under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor. Once you hear the clicking around your wrist, it's everything sinks. Take a seat. I thought I was fine, but the reality was is I was over the limit. Tech 18, Albuquerque. Be advised, I will have one 1015 for DWI. So I was arrested for drunk driving. Okay, made me blow into a breathalyzer. Result for the IR 1000.17. There was no disputing the fact that I was over the legal limit. So they put me in this van. It's just a really cramped metal box. All right, sir, watch your head and watch your step. It was a stupid decision. I was arrested for drunk driving. As soon as I get to MDC, they take and bag up all my possessions. You know I'm gonna get this back, it's my dad's watch. They put me through a body scanner. You don't feel like a human anymore. They shuffle you through. Each individual, you started with your thumb. Turn the other way. It's just miserable. It's just a miserable place. So I was arrested for drunk driving. I decided to call my mom. Uh, I'm in jail for DWI. And that was, mommy there. She was just so disappointed she didn't want to talk to me. Step on in and go to your left. Stand in front of shower number seven. What I need you to do is take off all your clothes, put it in the back. It's embarrassing. I finish up and they hand me an orange jumpsuit. You don't feel like a real person anymore. So, I got arrested for drunk driving. What cell do you want him in? They told me 24. I don't know what to do. I don't know what, what my best bet is for not getting hurt. So, I got arrested for drunk driving. This is State versus Mark Nichols, Jr. Does the defendant appear in custody? Yes, Your Honor. I request he be released on his own recognizance. Does the state have a position on the conditions of release? This is an aggravated DUI. The defendant has no priors. We do not object to an ROR at this time. I'll allow it. Make better choices next time, Mr. Nichols. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Honor. Now I have to deal with this, and I have to sit here for however long it's going to take. So, I was in jail all night for DWI. Oh, they finally grant my release. Everything's been completed here, okay? Do I step on out? They have a bus. I can bring you back into town if you can't get a ride. Everything just feels different. Looking out the windows. I disappointed a lot of people. My boss, my girlfriend, and my mom, my family. There's no going back from a DWI.